the stories of change, people developing uh, from, in, from inwards and then out to outwards. For me, that was really amazing. From day one, actually, I started with um, first amplifying this content, what I was learning to the netizens. Nimelang, leadership is not about me being a leader. It's about my perspective to others. PDLD has challenged me as a person, as a youth, to become a good leader, to become someone who works for the people and not just for myself. Even if I now decide I'm not working with the community again, at least I've developed one individual. First of all, uh, going through mentorship and being guided by Beatrix really helped a lot. And through that, I was also able to get more skills. Uh, through the guidance, I was able to work on my facilitation skills. Uh, for me, uh, small crowds really freak me out. I prefer large, larger crowds and dealing with uh, a larger group of people when it comes to facilitation. But now working with a number of 20 uh, was really interesting. And uh, it also began the journey of now working with smaller groups, uh, a smaller number. And now I am bolder in, in that sense. Na kwa saizi, naeza sema imeleta mabadiliko kwa sabu estate yetu kabla hii mafunzo kulikuwa kuchafu sana. Mtaro zilikuwa paka juu na watu walikuwa natupa takataka ovyo ovyo, hizi eh, pampas za watoto na estate ilikuwa chafu. Na wengine walikuwa vichuangumu wawezi, wawezi lipa wale, wale wenye wanauwa na chukua takataka. Lakini baada ya kupata hii mafunzo na tukuenda pale kwa estate na kuongea na watu, saizi kuna change kubwa ambayo Niko na evidence ambayo nita peana. A good example, eh, as we are talking now, tuko na mradi ambayo, tukiwa tu kwa hii training, tuli toka mimi na one of my elders, anaitwa Morris, tuka, tuka andika proposal kuhusu Mithonge General eh, Public Hospital ambayo iko kwa di area yangu ya jurisdiction. Na sisi kama members wa PLO, PLO ambayo ni committee ya the hospital tuli na pamoja na public health officers tukakaa chini tukaona what we can do to implement that hospital it change the face of it na tukaandika proposal na tukaipitisha kwa county government kupita kwa county assembly ambayo ilipita e, tuliomba 51 million shillings for the project to be implemented na it was to our surprise, the other day, governor came back to us, now the new governor, and she gave us 91 million. Baka akaungazia vitu zingine ambazo asuko put kwa And now the project is has started from last week and is ongoing. For me, what really worked well uh, in, terms of, in terms of the entire facilitation skills uh, was the stories of change, people developing uh, from in from inwards and then now to outwards for me that was really amazing and i remember one of the participants who had come in uh was from the from the community a youth at risk that we had we had identified that we felt like he needed more capacity building that like we saw some form of greatness in him and uh by the time we started the session uh he mentioned that he was dealing with drugs, he was a peddler. And now, by the time we had our last session, him coming out and saying, I started out as a peddler, but now I've left uh, 
products and now I'm a farmer. I'm now into more what you'd call legal uh, ways of uh, income generating. For me, that was the highlight of the entire period. I was like, uh, even if I now decide I'm not working with the community again, at least I've developed one individual. We were asked to challenge our mindsets. Were we a growth mindset or just a fixed mindset? We also challenged to experience our emotions. What was the, sto the sitting point and the standing point of our emotions when it came to leadership? And for me, it became a self-reflection of some sort. And I asked myself, like, was I really being a leader or was I really just avoiding being a leader when it came to conflict and organization? So with PDLD, it has challenged me as a person, as a youth, to become a good leader, to become someone who works for the people and not just for myself. When I'm in the community, I no longer just think about my and my organization. I think about the people I'm helping and I think about the youth who are going to be inspired by the work that I'm doing also. And that is all that I dream about when I came to PDLD. And it has helped me realize my dream more and to focus on my future. From day one, actually, I started with um, first amplifying this content, what I was learning, to the netizens, so that they also get to know what I am learning. And also for them, they can also use it in their daily lives. So moving on forward, I am going to take like bits and bits of each module and then I'm making that into social media and then everyone else in social media now gets to know how can we implement our projects using this and that. How do we get to interact as netizens? Because most of the times we know netizens are juani. So if you have an idea about something online, you don't know who you're talking to. But then with uh, this program, you can actually know how you are going to, um, how you are going to, like, bring up your system. No, wajue na kubali the kind of project you are promoting. Kuna vikundi ambazo wamejitokeza, kuna vikundi ambaye sasa inachukua takataka kila kuanzia on, on, on kila Saturday na ina, inaenda kudispose huko. Na kuna kikundi ambayo pia inatengeneza, mazi, inatengeneza zile mamitaro, watu ambayo wamesumamea environment na hizo vikundi zote ziko registered na waiko na certificate. Kwa hivyo, hizo mitaro zetu saizi ya tokiangalia jambo ambaye nitakuwa nimetuma kwa hiyo eh, kwa picha. Utaona mitaro zetu zimetengenezo visafi 
na estate sahi na ngara haina uchafu when i started attending this development course i've learned so much and uh, part of the learning i came to understand because i used to ask myself we are engaging these youths these gang members but we are seeing so minimal returns change in kidogo sana but as uh, i was willingly uh, continue now with the PBLB i got to understand kwamba the tactics that we are trying to employ to talk to these youths actually is not effective so hiyo ndio ilinionyesha kwamba we are we are not getting the fruits because ile position yenye tume take na the way we are trying to talk to them is the wrong one because we actually tulikuwa tunatumia the assertive way we tell them what we think but after kukuja hapa PBLD tukafunzwa about the appreciation inquiry so i came to change tact nika change mindset yangu pia so these days when i go to them i listen to them more I listen to them more after listening to them more I actually my work is simple I just listen to them after that now uliza okay sawa nyinyi mmesema shida yenu ni ina 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 hii mnaona tunaweza saidika aje previously I would point to them ini mbaya ini mbaya ini mbaya na tunafaa tufanye hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi so I got to understand they are the problem creators and still they are the problem solvers the, the knowledge that i have acquired here impact i'm going to have a good leadership towards them i being the in charge of personnel sita kwa sometimes i normally overreact but now through the, the knowledge that i have acquired it has got an impact to me i will make making sure that uh, i do my work in a professional way and i will not be biased in any way or the other helping the individuals understand that they can lead without titles you do not need a title to lead you just need uh, to show the will power that you want to change the community and even using the human centered design thinking so that we are able to come up with programs that are from the users end and from the community's end for more sustainability uh, and more ownership and continually paying it forward to other individuals so that you can have a ripple effect and make uh, not just nakuru but the entire world a better place